Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the next two issues of the Warhammer 40,000 Legends collection. Uh, it's a subscription from Hachette Partworks, they're the people behind the um, Warhammer 40,000 Conquest subscription. Uh, unlike that subscription, this one is cheaper but you don't get any miniatures, you get two uh, novels set in Horus Heresy or the 41st uh, Millennium. This will cost £20 per month. I think that there are currently 80 issues, but if you go on the website, they've upped that to 100. I think there might even be plans to increase that further. We're getting towards the end now, and I personally haven't received an email or any letters um, from Hachette Partworks to say that they're gonna be increasing that. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens um, when we approach that um, end game. <laughs> I don't know why I've got end game on the mind. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> unwrap this and have a look at these two. So they come in this little box. And so this is issue 78 or 77 and 78. So uh, by my calculations, there are literally two more issues left, uh, 79 and 80. Um, but yeah, as I say, go on the website, it goes up to 100 now. Uh, issue 77 is Grey Knights by Ben Counter. And issue 78 is Dark Creed by Anthony Reynolds. Let's unwrap issue 77 first of all. Okay, this uh, issue is actually, it's numbered number 62 in the collection. It will set you back 313 pages and it was first published in 2004. So yeah, it's a 15 year old book. Um, that's quite a while, but there we go. Let me read the preface for you. Grey Knights. On the world of Corian 9, demon hunter Mandulis of the Grey Knights is locked in a titanic battle with the demon prince Gargachuloth. Oh my lord. In a fight that costs him his life, Mandulus manages to banish the foul demon back to the warp for a thousand years. A millennium later, Justicar Alaric of the Grey Knights leads an elite team of his brothers to put paid to a prophecy which heralds Gargachuloth's return. That's an interesting choice of word. Put paid to a prophecy. Ah, that's, that's quite cool. Um, let's have a look at the artwork. So there's the front cover artwork and that is by um, Clint Langley. Stunning. Really captures the sort of psychic presence of a, of a grey knight. It's set in the 41st millennium. Grey Knights, Terminators revealed, an elite of elites, and Aegis, Nemesis, and Adamantium. So a nice uh, little look there about them. Some more artwork, so Grandmaster by Paul Dainton. Incredible artwork. And this one here, uh, Grey Knights alternate cover by Paul Smith. So it's an alternate cover there. I get some uh, corn demons, bloodthirsters, it looks like. And then Grey Knight by Paul Dainton. And Stern by Carl Kopinski. Grey Knight's Rhino by Nuala Kinraid. You can see that with the lighting. And then Grey Knight by Anna Steinbauer. I think that um, artwork was on the, one of the codexes, if not the most recent codex. And a bit more artwork, so a fair bit of artwork in this one. Stern Grey Knights by Philippe Paglioso. Paglios, Paglioso. Looks like uh, against Slanesh there. Incredible. And more. There's Titan by John Blanche. So that's the uh, their homeworld, as it were. Really cool backstory behind Titan and uh, and what uh, Malkador did. Another bit of artwork, Grey Knights Captain by Paul Dainton. And then a little bit of an advert. Uh, so that's Grey Knights. Um, I haven't read this one, I don't think. So that'd be an interesting one. So Grey Knights novel. This one, issue 78, which is Dark Creed by Anthony Reynolds. Let's unwrap this. 
So this one looks like a chaos book, chaos novel. Um, this is number eight. And it will set you back. Will it get to 300? Yes, it does. 309 pages. It was first published in 2010, so nine years old. And I'll just read you the preface. Dark Creed. Dark Apostle Marduk faces challenges from within his own legion as he wages war with the White Consul's Space Marine chapter. Hey, my chapter's Black Consuls. Harnessing the power of the Nexus arrangement, a powerful Necron device, Marduk can turn the tide in the word bearer's favour. But just as White Consuls are on the verge of defeat, an old enemy returns to throw the entire Dark Crusade into ruin. If Marduk is to survive and fulfil his ambition, he must defy an onslaught from the Necrons, the White Consuls and his own legion. Ooh. Let's have a look at the old uh, artwork then. So this is the front cover here. Um, Dark Creed by Klaus Shervinsky, hope I've pronounced that correctly. And the white consoles look. Takes place in the 41st millennium. The Necrons revealed, Eternal Warriors and the Inevitable Ones, so a little bit of a uh, summary of, of Necrons. Chaos Space Marine Victory by Pedro Nunes. Nunes. Cool. Some kind of big demon engine there. Necrons by Alex Boyd. Hopefully you can see these. The lighting is getting a bit, a bit annoying now. Uh, Monolith by Alex Boyd. So two there. One in the black and white. And then Necron Army by Alex Boyd. So again, Alex Boyd looks like the main sort of artist for Necrons. Suits him. Demon. Clearly by John Blanche. White Console Space Marines. And then you've got uh, Word Bearers, which my Chaos Space Marine Army will be when I get around to painting it. I'd actually really like to do my Chaos Knight in uh, that colour as well. Lich Guard by Paul Dainton. And Necron's Advance, again, by John Blanche. Really, really creepy looking. Lots of like little scarabs and spiders and spindly warriors. It looks like a swarm going on. Fantastic. Lots of detail there by John. Um, awesome looking. Hmm. Terror inspiring, actually. And then a uh, little bit of an advert. So I think there's actually more artwork in the Grey Knight's um, book. Uh, just, just from sort of looking at that. It seems like there's there's more. Um, okay, so that's Dark Creed. Again, I haven't read that one. It's a bit of a newer book, but uh, there you go. Um, so number eight and 62 in your collection. That is 77 and 78. Just two more at present. Um, I think they're going to uh, increase the collection, but for now, at least, um, just two more left until we complete it. So in the next video, I will be unboxing and having a first look at the, those two, the last final copies. And then to celebrate, I'll do a separate video uh, showcasing the entire collection. Uh, so all of those, the, the whole spine art will be complete. And then I've just got to buy a massive house um, to put them on one wall. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.